good evening everyone and i hope you all are doing well today's episode with respect to joy of painting we are going to do you know explore a different floral and blooming techniques how to represent bloom how to represent a different flowering structures using you know simple painting techniques this is what we are going to learn today so thank you so much for joining and tuning in and doing the regular practice i also want to tell you my next episodes will be totally based on the holy theme holy is a festival of colors and we play with the colors so we have a special episode for that and please do join and invite your family and friends to have some fun and being the stress free you know most of the uh, motive is that so let's enjoy our upcoming episodes with respect to holy theme and today's episode is on spring so we are have a you know lot of different shades on my plate you can see that so i i, I have red yellow light green black also i have it then brown or yellow oxshire anything you can take it magenta you know to represent that floral and blue so blue flowers and yellow we will be using for sunflower and uh, we'll try rose we already painted many time in yesterday's my youtube episode also i have given very simple techniques how i have done that on the paper and then i took the same design over my you know my small guitar kids guitar that i painted you can see in my background also my daddy is you know having that so uh, rose we already did that but we will do a different type of rose today and other than that you know uh, lavender etc we'll we'll try that and uh, today's episode is more on the technique side you know how we can represent different flowers now when you are painting and rep replicating the same technique in the different objects because we are going to do with the acrylic you can just create a simple design in the sense see we when we start painting we we think too much about designs if you know the basic technique you just repeat that if you want to create a you know field of the lavenders or anything in the front side you give the proper detail in the back side the detailing goes you know uh, slowly down so you can repeat the same technique over any type of fields similarly if you are painting on simple you know bouquet etc or in the vases flower vase you can use the same technique repeat the same technique with the different flowers so that's the reason <coughs> basic knowing about basic really helps to work on your creative side because if you might be seeing different tutorials where they, you know painting etc has been focused but knowing basics will help you to design your own paintings in such a way so that you can use the same techniques in the different objects in different ways so let's learn the basics how to you know uh, paint different objects uh, different flowers so let's start with the you know our first uh, structure so we are going to start with the lavender first so for lavender we need purple and magenta so purple i didn't take it let me just you know take the purple also so that is the you know advantage of having acrylic that's why i use acrylic because same design i can take it anywhere if i want to you know practice over the paper and then i can repeat it anywhere even on stones canvas paper so my brush size is 8 and this is a normal round brush you can see that so let's start with the lavender okay so we are giving a petal here so this is very detail i will tell you another technique also which you can use it in landscapes because there that much detailing is not required it's pretty simple okay lavender is the easiest one Okay. 
this is the first layer now let's take the second layer slightly you know darker and just create a depth around that and once you do it in bulk in the sense you know bouquet of lavender or lavender feels it really looks good even from far also especially lavender feels same with mustard feels or simple grass also it looks really good for the landscapes so i'm just washing my brush and i have a light green with me so what i have to do just take some light green and no and uh, leaf side start it press it and then again leave it like this okay see on other objects we cannot use this much water but here we can use it now just put some stem also here in between okay this is the one technique now i will tell you using the fan also there is a fan brush is there just put some water and take this you know lavender side and you can use this particular when you are using the field okay this particular technique is field because there we don't need that much you know detailing part so this you can use it for the fields let's take some also so i'm just taking some white also now in the same brush take some white on the brushes so it will give you that petal part you know that is also from far in front front of the fields you can use detailing brush and then you know back as as long as you go back right the details that much detail is not required so there you can use exactly fan brush so that's all it's done now put a stem here okay that's all and leaf okay that's all this is what lavender now we'll do the next flower next we'll do this uh, rose only let's try a different technique for rose today yesterday also i will show you if you missed it i will show you so just create a circle that's all let me paint two roses okay then wash the brush and take white on the same brush ensure it is not dried now start you know from the edges do like this in the dash format that this will represent the petal this is very quick rose this is what i have used for you know guitar very simple okay there is another technique i will show you well, like okay let me complete this first so i am taking some one second 
I'm taking some green. Okay. Let's, let's take some light green also. Now we'll do another technique. So create a you know six around that which will show the mid of the rose, mid section of the rose, and around this create a these petals. So this is a loose flower technique. This is slightly relaxing. Now wherever mid portion is there you can take some light shade and you know you can just blend it slightly. Now I am just extending this flower. Now, put some leaves. Okay, I'll use some dark shade also. all now let's paint the one sunflower so in sunflower we can start from the middle also so let's take some black as the base you know mid portion black create a circle now you might have seen you know some uh that you know uh sponge type of you know mid portion so for that you can use a brown or you know you can mix a brown with some bottle of white take that on the brush and create a this type of you know tapping here because it is wet so let's wait for some time to dry it and then you slightly do this top of that you have to put one more layer that is green okay so just do some that and now you can slightly extend that so it doesn't look you know exactly circle okay like this now use yellow as a final one but because it's mixing so just uh, we can wait also so that will give you that sponge, you know, 
स्पॉन्ज टाइप ऑफ फिलिंग ओके सो दिस इज डन वी नीड टू वेट एक्चुअली सो मीन वाइल वील पुट द पेटल नो इश्यू सो लेट्स टेक येलो If you have a mustard yellow, that is fine. Other yellow is lemon yellow is also fine. Let's take it, you know. And how to put the leaves? So you can start with tap the brush, spread it, and then you know, like this. Tap the brush, make a hold, and like this, just. press it so that you know it takes its space and then slowly you remove it so it will be pointed okay now do it for entire flower same activity This is very relaxing part. Somewhere, if you missed, like it is not pointed, you can do it manually. Otherwise, normally, you know, once you get the hold on the brush, it comes. So with practice, it comes. with this uh, some portion is done now only mid section it's almost you know slightly dried so i will take uh, some green only and you know some portion i will just put a drop okay this is a easy technique that's all so this sunflower is ready simple one okay now we'll we'll do we'll paint some uh you know loose poppies also so for that we can use red only just uh, okay so we'll start from the reverse okay let me do that so below portion we'll keep it like this and just just wash it and just take some red and put a some drops in the like here so that this portion is slightly you know darker that's all so this is uh, you know side view of uh, you know wild poppy and we can create a front view also so in front view mostly it will be you know black in middle and then same petals will be there so let me create a front view also so this is its petal you know bottom part of it now 
I'm just expanding it and the edges will you know slightly it comes like zigzag of poppies no. same you can do that okay Now take some red and ensure especially this below portion now it is slightly darker so I'm doing the same now let's take some black and fill the mid portion oh it, it's uh, crossed it okay because it was not dried okay let me take it so I can do anytime I have another brush I can just you know soak it so it's been done. Let's see, it is fixed. Now just correct it using the red. Put some red here and be careful while putting the, you know, especially black. Okay. So this is its, you know, top, top view. Okay, so this is there. One small bud also, we can create it. That's all. Now use green. Slightly. Okay. And. Okay. See with this technique you can complete even one painting also. What I am telling with this you can just complete one painting. You are using canvas. So let's take you know when you are putting its uh, stem so you give a different just be free you know it's not necessary to be in straight line just uh, give it in any way. Okay, see, if you will do that, now one painting will be completed. <laughs> so this all are basic. That's the reason basics are important. Now, which flower we can paint now? White we cannot paint because background is already white. So blue is remaining. So let me put. Uh, there is some something comes, you know like this I'm not hydrangea or something like that it will be you know plus plus nearby that also we did actually one exercise on that that also we can do that so for this you it's a bunch of flowers in a round shape most of the time okay it comes in the different uh, color shades pink blue purple okay blue also looks good when it comes to flowering part and even teal color also comes for the same flower teal also comes and this if you remember in new year we painted this particular technique we have used in live so it will be round shape and bunch of small 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 you know uh, clusters it's a cluster grove flower now I'm taking a white on the same brush and I will create a some stroke here and I will try to fill the part and the gap which I you know left it with the you know white and mostly it will be bluish white you know light blue in the same you can use teal shade also somewhere in between because I have seen even teal also along with blue 
and there is a separate breed also comes which is purely teal only even purple also come for the same flower different breeds comes different shades comes like roses only okay hydrangea something it is called you might have seen that pink also come i have pink okay so with this leaves are pretty simple leave we are not focusing today so that's all it, its leaves are slightly bigger you can just you know create it for this so we are mostly focusing on the flower side today okay now we have uh, magenta is remaining so with magenta guys it dried also with magenta you can paint a normal flower let's see yeah layered flower different no name is there just put like this wash it and expand this it will create a first layer okay now just to drop the color it's again relaxing part side We'll do it again. Just uh, take a uh, you know the first shade of flower and drop the colors in between. Now in middle we'll use white and just okay that's all. See you can for relaxation you can use anything. So this is almost done now what is remaining white is remaining so what I'm going to do let's try let's mix it with you know slightly yellow so that it's visible or orange okay yeah, orange we can use so let's take orange very simple flower very simple that's it if you create that in bunches na it will really look good see for floral techniques too much complexity is not required we are not painting for you know detailing about too much for relaxation you can keep it very simple create a bunch of flower flower bouquet it will look you know good hydrangea i said right that is also very relaxing loose poppies this one we did right that is also very relaxing that's all now just take a black and put a you know some small small drop on that but only is getting spread so it's fine let it be like that yeah it's okay simple stem it's not necessary to put stem everywhere yeah, for painting it's not necessary like you try to connect everything no you can leave like this also that's it and create a simple leaves that is that is also fine you might have seen here this particular bud is mix of red and green intentionally i did it so that you know sometimes when something is in bud format now so that greenish that shade will be there 
so that came that will come automatically when you will practice right that will come auto automatically now most of the flowers we correct it if anything else is remaining then you know we'll do it in our some other episode so with this we have completed uh, you know almost uh, more than eight, eight flower and uh, one second give me a second so you can see that it's really you know looking good also especially poppy and then rose hydrangea and there are different varieties and uh, there is very simple you know uh, that blooming technique that we already did using brush that is just tapping tapping in the sense you create a branch we did that multiple time but i am just repeating it you create a branch if you remember gratitude exercise and almond blossom what we did we created a branch and then just tapping you know tapping also create a blooming effect right and then create a first layer top of that slightly darker shade and then last layer will be the white layer so we have done with today's exercise and uh, let's connect in my webinar upcoming holy special webinar and also holy special live streaming so bye bye i 